what actually makes a good fighter? Let's talk about it. You still don't get it, do you? He'll find her. That's what he does. That's all he does. You can't stop him. He'll wait for you. We got her drunk and pull her fucking heart out. People will sit around and they'll tell you all day long how their fighter, the one that they ride with, the one that they support, the one that they dick ride, however you want to call it, they'll tell you that their fighter is the greatest fighter in the world or the best fighter to ever live. It doesn't matter. They got this. They got that. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. The bottom line is there is some few criteria that make a good fighter. Few. Because there are fighters in the past that... You have no idea what their fucking skill set is. But you'll say today that they're a good fighter. Rocky Marciano is a good You have no fucking idea of his skill set. You have no idea. You have no idea of Jack Johnson's skill set. You have no idea. John L. Sullivan, the first lineal champion. You have no idea of his skill set. You have no idea. <laughs> now, y'all motherfuckers watching this video will probably try to Google it and then come back and say, oh, yeah, BF, I know his skill set. Yeah, I've been watching it forever. You have no fucking clue right now. No clue. But you're right in the comments of this video. Oh, I knew all along. No, the fuck you didn't. You have no idea. Your motherfuckers don't have no idea of Sugar Ray Robinson's fighting style. You have no clue. Some of you motherfuckers don't know Muhammad Ali's fighting style at all. You have no clue whatsoever. You just use Muhammad Ali and say, oh, well, you can't compare this guy or that guy or this guy to Muhammad Ali. You can't even do... You just use it to shit on someone else. You have no idea what Muhammad Ali's style was. You have no idea. But you'll say skills pay the bills. You have no idea of his skills. None. You have no idea of Carlos Monzon's skills, uh, Hagler's skills. You have uh, no fucking clue of Sanchez's skills. All these legends, these greats. You have no idea what the, how they fight. You have no idea. With that being said... There are some criteria of what makes a great fighter. Entertaining fights. Number one. Not every fighter is going to have every single fight be entertaining. It's not going to happen. Because in order to have an entertaining fight, you need to have a good enough dance partner. Right? You need to have a good enough dance partner that's going to bang with you. Like Ward Gotti, that was an entertaining fight. Entertaining fight. Um, you need to have someone who's going to go in there and they're they're going to try to enforce their their will, and you're enforcing your will. Now, when you're just far superior, you just destroy these guys. Um, that's entertaining in its in its own right. What people lie about is say they want to see you. Oh, I just want to see the sweet science. You're a liar. You do not. You want to see someone get knocked out. All right. That's where this all all this came from. The the Romans doing their um you know their gladiator days and all that other shit. You want to see someone get killed. You want to see someone get beat the fuck up. That's what you want to see. Entertainment. You don't give a fuck about the sweet science. You don't give a fuck about oh skills pay the no they don't no skills don't pay the bills no. Entertainment pays the bills. Entertainment. That's the reason why all these motherfuckers in the Hall of Fame with. 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 25, 30 fucking losses in the Hall of Fame. That's the reason why. Motherfuckers has never held a belt before in their entire career in the Hall of Fame. Entertainment. If you can entertain me, you can capture me. Which is why BFTB boxing is so fucking popping. These the haters, they can't help but come over here and fuck with your boy because I am entertainment. I am facts and entertainment. They must come. They have no choice. All right? Entertainment, numero uno, numero uno. Now, beating fighters, entertainment, entertaining, and beating fighters you shouldn't beat makes you a great boxer, makes you a great fighter. You're going into this fight as the underdog. Now, you can't just have some of these characteristics. You got to have three out of four, at least. At least three out of four. Otherwise, if you just beat someone that you wasn't supposed to beat, oh, it's a fluke. That's a fluke. 
you know, you have that very small window of opportunity, like Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson. You should have rematched him. That, that There should have been a rematch to prove that that wasn't a fluke. Because you got beat the fuck up by Holyfield, like in your next fight or some shit like that. So to prove it wasn't a fluke, there should have been a rematch with Mike Tyson. Now, I don't give a fuck about the scenarios of what happened and blah, blah, blah. I could care less. There should have been a rematch with Mike. Um, and that would have led towards Buster Douglas's validity of a great fighter. It would have led towards that. It would have, because we got the excitement. Can we get it again? Which is why we're looking at Holyfield. No one's looking at Holyfield's fucking cruiserweight resume. Oh, man, Holyfield, one of the greatest cruiserweights. They do that when they compare to Usyk. But if, if you don't compare to Usyk, when you look at Holyfield, all you care about is his heavyweight fights. With Lennox Lewis, motherfucking um, uh, George Foreman, and Mike Tyson. Motherfuckers right now can't even tell you all of his heavyweight fights. They don't know. There's a few people that can. But most people don't give a fuck, bro. They don't care. It was an entertaining fight with Mike Tyson where you should have lost. And you beat him. And you rematched him and beat him again. In an entertaining fight where you should have lost. We were entertained. You fought a fight you should have lost. But you won. Just is what it is, bro. It just is what it is. You sprinkle on a third criteria. Not so much, but still a third. Winning titles. Winning titles puts you in that criteria. It puts you in there. Where you can say, oh, well, I'm, I was a champ, though. Once a champ, always a champ. If you've ever won a belt in your life, you are a champ. Even if you lost it, you're still a champ. Because you were a champ. They will all, you will... Every champion in the history of boxing, if you've ever won a, a belt, you are you get referred to as champ. Even if you lost it and you're fighting in a rematch, you get referred to as champ. What's up, champ? Now, people, some people say they just use that to talk to everybody. But for the most part, when you are a champion, when you've been a champion, you will always be a champion. It just is what it is. That is the, the icing on the cake. Um, the biggest one. That makes you, it's right under entertaining, right under entertaining. If you can have entertaining and this one, you don't need to have won any titles. If you can have entertaining and this one, you don't need to fight fighters that could beat you and you'll still be within that realm, a.k.a. Floyd Mayweather. Now, Floyd Mayweather touched it off with the 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 Manny Pacquiao fight, which Anyone who really understands boxing knows that Pacquiao cannot beat Floyd Mayweather. So really, Floyd touched it off with the Oscar De La Hoya fight. Because Floyd was moving up to 154 to fight De La Hoya. Right? And he was going to be the smaller guy fighting the bigger guy. The guy that's been uh, fighting the better, better competition and blah, 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 yada, yada. So if you want to say Floyd was going to fight a fight where he was supposed to lose, it was Oscar De La Hoya. Not Floyd, not um, Manny Pacquiao. That was, in, that was a wash. That was an easy fight. Bro, I won mad bread off of that. I'm like, yo, this is, I don't know what the fuck y'all think is going on. This is an easy fight, bro. Easy fight for Floyd Mayweather. He will beat this man a hundred out of a hundred times. He's he's just better. Stylistically, his style is better than that one. It just is what it is. But it didn't have the entertainment value. It didn't have that entertainment value. It just didn't. Um, Because it took two to tango. Now, with the Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya, those two did tango. Those styles meshed better. Um, but anyways, this last one is beating good fighters. Now, it's different than beating fighters that you shouldn't beat. It's different because the fighter you shouldn't beat, might it might be your, your first fucking fight in boxing. Your first professional fight and you're fighting a guy who's 9-0. and You shouldn't beat that motherfucker. So, you know, it's it's sort of, there. there is a little bit of fucking, what's the name right there? A little wiggle room in that one. But this one, beating good fighters is, if not this, the second big, biggest, it's the first. If not the second, the entertainment to me is the first big, this, that's the biggest criteria, entertaining fights. Because it'll get you along through everything. Look at Terrence Crawford, he ain't fighting nobody. But his fights are entertaining. So, it's keeping them up there. Fighting good fighters is the most difficult criteria to match. It's the most difficult criteria because the good is in the eyes of the beholder. It's in the eyes of the beholder. So what needs to happen in order to capitalize on that good, you need to get these fighters when they're hot. 
Jerron Boots Ennis is hot right now. We have no idea if this man is um, uh, going to pan out to be something serious. We have no idea. But he's hot. So in our minds right now, Boots Ennis is the goods in our mind right now. But who knows? He might fight Terrence Crawford and get destroyed in the first round. He might fight Errol Spence and get fucking obliterated. He might be, get beat up by Sean Porter. He might lose to Ugas and Keith Thurman. We have no idea. We have no idea because he hasn't fought anybody. But he's hot. So we're looking at him as a good fighter. If you can capitalize on that good, that good fighter, if you can capitalize, it's a very small window. It's a very, very small window. Um, that window is open. Haters and lovers alike says this guy is the goods. Haters and lovers alike. He is the goods. Whether they know what he can do or not. There's a very small window because all it takes is for John Ennis to say, man, ain't no white boy going to beat me. Ain't no white boy going to beat me. And all of a sudden, bam, the fucking what's the names are established. The parameters are established. Now he's no longer good. He's a fucking bum. Who did he fight? He's trash. He didn't do nothing. He's garbage. That is where Devin Haney was. Devin Haney was in that window of a good fighter where putting him on your resume at that time would have been fantastic. And plus, nobody wanted to fight him, which made him look like the boogeyman even more. And as soon as he said, no white boy's going to beat me, bam, parameter set. They had no idea how to judge the man. He was in that window of good fighter. Jerron Ennis is in that window of good fighter. Danny Garcia is a damn good fighter, but they can't put him in that window because he got some losses. Which is fucked up on why a loss matters. It shouldn't matter at all. It should because there's, like I said, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of fighters in the Hall of Fame with fucking more losses than anybody anybody knows. Um, but whatever about that. Jerron Ennis, good fighter. He is in that criteria. He meets that criteria. He meets it. All right. Now, if you look um, at just. Uh, a, a multitude of fighters across the across the spectrum, bro. A multitude. They can capitalize on that good fighter um, stigma. They can capitalize on that good fighter jacket, if you if you will. If if there's fighters like Bud who fights Jerron Ennis, that's a good fighter. Now now Bud has been in entertaining fights. He's been in them. Um, he's beat he well he's beaten fighters. Not really, he shouldn't have beat because the one that you can look at it is Gamboa. You can look at Gamboa and say, oh man, he wasn't supposed to beat him. Gamboa was supposed to beat Terrence Crawford, right? So you cover that criteria. You look at winning titles. He's got him in three divisions, right? But you, it's the good fighters thing, which is what's killing Terrence. The good fighters. Right now, the name for him is Sean Porter. That is a good fighter if not great fighter. That is a name for him. Good fighter. He gets someone like that on his resume. It's a whole different story. It's a whole different story. He does not have that at all. He has entertaining fights. He has titles. He had fought against a fight in Gamboa. He wasn't supposed to win. He has those three, but it's the fourth criteria which is murdering him. Murdering him. Look at Deontay Wilder. Look at Deontay Wilder. All of his fights are entertaining. All of them. He had a title. He fought Tyson Fury and Lewis King Kong Ortiz, fighters he was not supposed to beat. He knocked Tyson Fury out. We know the drill with the cheating and all that other shit. We got it. Tyson Fury got the belt right now. We understand that. He was supposed to be, get beat by Lewis or King Kong or team, key, uh, King Kong Ortiz. He was supposed to lose to Bermain Stavern. That's what he was supposed to lose to. Bermain Stavern was popping. He was supposed to lose to him. He beat that man. He outboxed that man. Then he stopped him. Then he fought uh, uh, Luis Ortiz in a fight he was supposed to lose. This is an undefeated heavyweight Cuban with damn near 600 amateur fights. He was supposed to lose to this guy. Why? Because Wilder can't box. You're supposed to lose to him, to Luis King Kong, to Kong Ortiz, but you destroyed him twice. Twice. That it factor came along with it. <laughs> that it factor. The fact that you're entertaining as a motherfucker. The fact that you fought fighters you're not supposed to beat and you beat them. You got a title. It's the good fighter thing that they always lay on the channel. Good fighter. Oh, you ain't fighting no. You're only fighting bums. They're not good. But they're good before he fights them, which is why he is where he's at right now. This is why he's he's 
breathe life into the heavyweight division because they know he fighting, he's meeting all the criteria, all the criteria, he's meeting them all. But they're using that, the only thing they can use, the good fighter criteria. <clears throat> they're using that against Deontay. It's the only thing they can use. That's it. Because he meets all the other ones. But it's also why he's popping. It's also why he can do, he can put up a, he can uh, go on Instagram and sneeze and put that on Instagram and there will be a fucking 10,000 fucking uh, comments and all, whether they're likes, uh, good comments, bad comments, they'll be all over the place. Disrespecting the man, shitting on the man, showing the man love. Because he is that dude. That's why. Nobody else got that. No one. Don't no one care about Joshua Tyson Fury? No one care. If Tyson Fury starts writing, they're going to start talking about his victory over Wilder. Oh, you didn't cheat. You didn't do this. They don't give a fuck, bro. They don't care about Fury. He don't meet the criteria. He don't meet the, He don't meet all the criteria. He does not. Oh, oh, he beat Vladimir Klitschko, but Vladimir Klitschko didn't beat. Who? Vladimir Klitschko? Anthony Joshua gets more praise for beating Vladimir Klitschko than Tyson Fury. Facts. No. Tyson Fury gets all of his praise for his victory over Deontay Wilder. <laughs> because he meets the criteria with that victory. <laughs> he meets the criteria. Entertaining fight. They called Tyson Fury boring. He was boring his whole career. His entire career. He just now became entertaining. Just now. Now they call him entertaining. Now they dick ride him. Entertaining fight. He had the titles. But like I told you before, the titles is the icing on the cake. No, but bro, the other, you need the other ones. You need the other ones. Beating fighters he wasn't supposed to win. He wasn't supposed to uh, beat. Deontay Wilder. And he cheated him. But they want to give him that. Whatever. Whatever. It had nothing to do with Vladimir Klitschko. Because if it did, he would have been popping before Deontay. And he was not. He would have been popping before Anthony Joshua, and he was not. When he beat Vladimir Klitschko, no one gave a fuck because no one cared about Vladimir Klitschko. <laughs> Just saying, bro. What makes a good fighter? Four criteria. Four. Entertainment value. Beating fighters you shouldn't beat. Um, beating good fighters, which is the biggest one. Winning titles, icing on the cake. Just says what it is. No one gives a fuck about your... Oh, man, he can fight on the back foot and the front foot and the left foot. and He can hopscotch and double dutch and go back. No, nobody gives a fuck. No one cares. Oh, man, he's orthodox and he's he's he can fight the lefty, righty. You know what I'm saying? He can fight with his eyes closed. I, no one cares. No one cares. And in 20 years, what I'm saying will be proven factual. No one will give a fuck. Who do I care? Unless you are a diehard boxing fan, which is few and far in between, you will not know the style of fucking uh, uh, Willie Pep. You will not know the fucking style of 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 uh, Hammer and Hank Armstrong. You won't know these. You don't know. You don't look at their fucking skill set. You know, look at that shit. Oh, let's look at Joe Lewis's skill set. You know, let's let's sit, let's hit Ben and break down Jack Johnson's skill set. You know, these guys were great. These guys were. Let's look at Jack Dempsey. You know, let's look at Jack. Let's look at Gene Fuller. You don't care. You don't give a fuck. You look at the four criteria to determine his greatness. Titles, who he fought, who he beat, he wasn't supposed to beat. Um, and and uh and his entertainment value. That's it. BFTB. Shout out to the LDBC. I'll be using these criteria. I will not change them. They are what they are. But I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.